Thank you very, very much for coming. We've got some fantastic news to share with you today. I would like to pass you over to the panel, which is including Ian Wiper, who is uh, from Lumia Kinesis Limited, Councillor Paul Middlebrack, the leader of Witchhaven District Council, and Mark Pierce, who is the Corporate Director of Advantage West Midlands. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lawrence. Um, we <clears throat> just wanted to welcome everybody. Thank you very much for coming. Um, and in particular, um, thanks to our team, including Lawrence, uh, all of our friends, volunteers and supporters. Uh, I'd also like to thank um, AWM and uh, which Haven Council represented on this panel. Um, what we're here to announce is the very good news that all of the funding is now in place to complete the project. Um, and that will allow us to renovate and restore the whole building and open up uh, sometime during next year. Uh, it's been very, very difficult to do this uh, due to the economic conditions that prevail. Uh, so we're very, very pleased that at long last it's all in place. Um, we're also very grateful that everybody has stuck with us through thick and thin um, and all these very difficult times. Uh, Peter Luff can't be here this morning because he's, uh, he's quite busy at the moment with the various issues. Uh, but he did put it very eloquently uh, in the press release that we we're issuing this morning, where he said that um, it's all due to very, very successful team working, and that couldn't, that's a very, very true way of putting it. Um, and what I'd like to do now is uh, pass uh, the microphone over to Paul Middlebrook, uh, leader of which is the council. Okay, and, uh, well, good morning, everybody, and it's fantastic to see so many people here, and that really does pick up on perhaps a theme of what I want to briefly say this morning because this is a big project for Evesham and in two ways it's a big building project which has got important ramifications and it's big for the society in Evesham for the people of Evesham and the surrounding area so that sort of brings together something that perhaps this government is talking about the big society Let's start off by saying that it's been a long time coming and I'm sure most of you here are absolutely delighted uh, that at last you can see that something tangible is going to start. And it's going to be tangible for this building, but I hope that this is going to cascade and continue the revitalisation of this part of Evesham. Uh, we've uh, uh, also, of course, got this fantastic venue which is going to arrive here. So you can have fun here, you can socialise here, and it's going to become, I think, part of the heart and core of what goes on in this town. Film lovers uh, have long waited, I think, for a cinema to return to Evesham, and, uh, and I hope that it's, you're going to inspire other people to come and have a look at the nostalgia, but also the cutting edge that film can bring into a community. But above all else, uh, Ian and Lawrence are doing the drive here, but I do know that so many of you are actually involved in physical hard work within the building and uh, also promoting at the building, and long may that uh, continue. I think I'd, I'd pay tribute to Ian because uh, this is a scheme built on enterprise, uh, and Ian has been somebody who has managed to cut through can I say, the bureaucracy of councils uh, and all that stodge which is there within government uh, processes. But he's done it in a way which actually fits in with other rules. And I know it's been frustrating at times for him, but at least we're here today. The money's in the bank. And uh, for all those reasons, I can say that Witchhaven Council is really proud to be associated with the project. Uh, we've lent Ian quite a lot of money, £150,000 of your money on good terms and he's happy to take that and we're also continuing with grants 
which we are able to draw in from other places of about £80,000 to help the project. So it's a good day for Evesham, it's a good day for you as volunteers, uh, and come and watch the films and everything else that happens here. So now I'd like to just pass uh, over to Mark Pierce from um, Advantage West Midlands. Thank you very much, Ian. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, like Ian, I'm delighted to be here. It's about as close as you want me to get to a cinema screen, I'd imagine. But, uh, it's a landmark development here, and we're delighted to contribute a, a £300,000 grant to the project. As I think Ian and, and Paul have, have referred to, it hasn't been a straightforward journey, a project involving a, a building as old and uh, with as much heritage here as, as it is, with all the complexity around it, with public and private sector, that isn't easy. And I have to admire and, and, and lay testament to the vision and determination of all of the Regal team to get to, to this point. Um, I think the restoration of the Regal represents the renaissance of this part of town. And I congratulate Ian and his family and the army of volunteers and friends and volunteers. I know you're all being involved and, and all will contribute hugely. It's a genuine team effort and I'd like to congratulate you for that. Speaking from Advantage West Midlands, I'm proud of our long and fruitful uh, association with Evesham and with the council. Uh, over many, many years, we've worked very long and hard together. Uh, £500,000 to the Markets Town programme, which won national awards, lots of success. And more latterly, the uh, £500,000 towards the uh, redevelopment of the high street. Slightly less popular, for maybe, but uh, equally uh, probably necessary now it's done. Uh, my car's revving outside. Um, <laughs> So I think this project has great importance locally and I hope that our investment will help to create a legacy from which the local community will benefit for many years to come. So congratulations one and all and uh, good luck for the future. Thank you. So uh, we're going to um, ask if anyone's got any questions and address those if, if anybody wants to ask anything. That looks like no questions. <laughs> uh, John. Yeah, um, when do you project the new completion date it's going to be the middle of next year. We're just working through the um, project management issues now to get a, a definitive date, but it will be the summer of next year. Still not very long. No, nope, not very long. And you can see we've already made a start getting the scaffolding up and um, the roof is coming off next week. Was it, were there any other questions? Yes? Do you, from last here, you going to try and preserve as many uh, absolutely. The whole uh, concept is that the auditorium um, will um, look and feel very much as it was uh, when it opened in 1932. So all the uh, features will be kept, the spatial aspects of the auditorium will be preserved, and um, hopefully it will feel as though you're coming back um, to a proper Art Deco cinema as it was when it opened. Yeah. Uh, just ask, do you expect to see the project completed? Uh, no, we're going to complete everything now. So the, the whole project will be completed and then we'll open. We are going to um, run a scheme where on the last Sunday of every month we hope to um, open up the cinema so people can come in and see what uh, progress we've made. Um, you keep an eye on the website for that, but we want everyone to be able to come and see the progress. To keep the pressure on us to get it finished. <laughs> <laughs> so, were there any other questions? Uh, yes, sorry. Will that work include the restaurant, basically? Um, yes, we are going to complete everything. So, yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, is there any idea, is there any idea about changing the hardware or the projection for a possible digital thing? Uh, yeah, there's going to be a digital projector installed, and um, <clears throat> we're also going to be keeping it analogue. Of the existing analogue projectors, so it will, it will be all digital. Is that it? Okay, so we'll we'll wind that up. Thank you very very much for every, every, to everybody for coming. Um, and if you want to ask us any questions, and Lance and I and everyone else are available. If you want to have a look around the cinema, I'm sure that uh, that you can have a look around. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.